Team Deathmatch. Hello, everybody. Special I'm back for a part active. three video. Um, on why Modern Warfare is not great. It's trash. Drop shooter, heads down. But uh, I just thought of, of some more reasons why this this game is just gone to shit. Um. One of the big reasons that I don't know why I didn't think about this before was the mini map. Why did they feel the need to change the mini map? I mean, I get the reason. Let's get turned on, son. I mean, I get the reason why they do it, but there was nothing wrong with the mini map. The mini map, to my knowledge, has been the same for over a decade. I mean, this one kind of changed it a little bit with the whole fog of war thing, but for the most part, the minimap has been, you know, the 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 optimal way of you know playing the game. It was a crucial part, unless you're playing hardcore. Um, but in Modern Warfare, the, the devs decided to change minimap and had a little compass system where the red dots would show on the compass but not the minimap as everybody else knows this guy's been standing here for the why well, just why did they feel the need to do that it, it was nothing wrong they want they, they don't want people to get hunted well the new players to get hunted but how exactly are they getting hunted if the compass still somewhat shows neutralized somewhat where their position is so what, what exactly was the point of them changing and adding the red dot to a compass system that nobody actually even pays attention to people sound horror in modern warfare more than they pay attention to the damn compass system so at this point it's like the compass system is completely flawed it, it, it serves no purpose truth be told when I play I don't even pay attention to the compass system I look I either just anticipate where the next person is going or just by listening because the feet steps are so fucking loud. So they really need to change. They sh they're not going to. I, I, I'm pretty sure they said they're not going to. So it, this game is utterly fucking doomed. But uh, that brings me to my I'll next thing. Footsteps. Why are the footsteps so goddamn loud? I mean, I'm not gonna lie, Black Ops 4 has some some footsteps, but what was the best way to to negate footsteps? Especially in search and destroy. Dead silence. But mind you, dead silence is a perk in Modern Warfare. And not, I mean not a perk, goddamn. It's a field upgrade and not a fucking perk like it's supposed to have been. These last few cars, or where, however many years that song has been out, shit, I don't know. Um, I, I, I don't understand why. They're going for realism in Modern Warfare, correct? So how is it realistic for somebody to change footsteps from loud footsteps and put on silent sneakers during a whole damn match. It, it, it's not logical at all. That would also make me think about why the doors in Modern Warfare open both ways. Doors really open one direction. They don't open both directions. So the incorporation of the doors in Modern Warfare it, it was just stupid as well. But um Yeah. I, I don't understand why they They've done some really dumb shit. And don't get me wrong, Black Ops 4 has some dumb shit too with the whole strobe lights thing. Um, operator mods. Some of the operator mods are just completely overpowered. Like the damn um, Spitfire for Spitfire operator mod. Uh, fucking Reaper. Nobody want to use nothing else anymore because Reaper is like the most overpowered shit. Specialists are completely unbalanced in my opinion. I, I feel they, they're completely unbalanced. Um, I think I said strobe 
everybody already. And now the new so micro God. SMG, which is like the most overpowered submachine gun in the goddamn game. Um, but anyways, we're not talking about field point here. We're talking about modern warfare. The kill streaks are loud as fuck. You get a goddamn veto and you can't hear no footsteps. You can't hear shit. It is like the loudest thing in the damn game. Vetoes, support heli, loud as shit. I can't hear anything when I have my veto up. It's a, it's a okay kill streak. It don't really work that well in this game because, you know, there's a whole bunch of buildings that people can camp at actually. So. It's a win-loss, unless you're like in the Azure Cave on the outside and you're playing hardpoint. And the hardpoint is on the outside and not in the damn cave, then yeah, it's gonna work fine, but for the most part, on most maps, nah, it's not gonna work. Um, I've seen a few people talk about this, and one of the other ways it Modern Warfare Cadence is camping is the whole challenges system for the weapons. They have challenges where you have to mount your weapon to get kills and crouch. Which leads people to play like little pussy. Basically. Playing like little bitches. Get out of my way. But why I Black Ops 4 didn't do that. And to my knowledge, neither has any other Call of Duty. So, mounted kills is it's not. Damn. Blasted her. Weapon. The weapon challenges is too. It's too many weapon challenges for one, in my opinion. Like nobody has time for all that. But then it's like. It, it, it's, it just leads to campy gameplay, and of course, most Call of Duty fans are not a fan of that at all. Um, but yeah, this is my gameplay, and uh, I'll talk to y'all in the next part. Peace.